Hey guys, Dios are here. So the message of my video today is you don't have to wait so long when you know what's right. So what do I mean by that? I personally don't play around with marriage, especially if there's kids involved. But I come to notice that a lot of couples nowadays are blinded by these red flags that show up, that, that start coming up within the first year of them getting together. And believe me, we all see the red flags that tell us it's not going to work, but we ignore them for ambitious purposes. And that's real, guys. Sometimes it's best to nip it in the butt before things get worse. And I'm a woman, so for me, it's like it's worse because of that woman or that female intuition that we have. But believe me, we know if it's not gonna work. And as human beings, some of us are loyal as hell. And due to that loyalty, we decide not to break certain things up. But why? Is it because you swore for better or for worse? But the part where you got confused is that there has to be real love in it. Real love. Trust. Many of you are willing to stay with the person that betrayed your trust because of fear. You are so terrified that you're willing to accept being treated less than you are. And I'll tell you something. You're not alone in this. Because what happens is that we have convinced ourselves that being disrespected is better than being alone. But you have the power. There is a power in rediscovering your own voice. Why wait so long to free yourself? Why have your wife or your husband or children living in a fake reality of happiness? Listen here. The love of today is a contract. It shouldn't be. But such is life. The love of today looks for what you have to offer. Today, we look for physical. Today, we look at culture. Today, we look at race. Whatever happens with feelings, connection, and chemistry. No. Nowadays, women in good standing get approached by a cashier male at Publix and they quickly look away without even knowing that this man could possibly make them the happiest woman ever. And then you have your men that are just living off of women now. Like it's a thing, really. But guys, the point is that you know what it is. You know if it's not gonna work out. And staying around, it's not gonna make anything better. I mean, believe me when I tell you, If it doesn't turn sour now, it will 20 years from now, and then you'll regret it. Think ahead. Space is also a key to happiness. So I'll tell you this. If you choose to stay in it, then never stop dating. And I'll explain that when my next therapy is in session. Peace and love. Hi, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tag or share this with anyone you believe might need to hear these words. Therapy is in session. Peace and love.